Could be a really good one, this. You picked it as your match of the evening. Yeah. Um, a lot of it depends on the psychological side of it, I think. Yeah, a lot of it p depends on a lot of it, to be honest. But just the way Rowan finished her match yesterday, she looked a lot more settled into the match, obviously. But she'll take that with her into, the, into today. And she was playing some awesome squash by the end of it. And But the person who impressed me the most yesterday was Salma Hani, just back. how on a mission she was. I keep using that phrase, on a mission, but she really was. And I think maybe she feels like she's got a little point to prove here. She's not particularly always played great with it being her home club, and we certainly didn't see that yesterday. It's amazing, isn't it? She's the number eight seed in this tournament. That shows the rise of Salma Hani. Spoke to Rowan El Arabi after her match. And she actually said that she'd been, she's been training so hard and put such a shift in that she really wants to perform on there. And with that came a bit of pressure on herself. So as that match was going on yesterday, she was just trying to, to relax herself a bit and just to take the pressure off her back a bit. Yeah, it's interesting, that mindset, actually, because you'd like to think with it, when a player has put in such a big shift and is feeling so good about their game, that that would almost relax them in itself and they've just got to trust that ability. I've done the work, I'm here to just play. So it can flip, she could wire that in her head two different ways there. You could do that with everything, can't you? If you get your, your mindset right, you can look at something positively as soon as, as soon as your mind starts working overdrive, you can get those negative thoughts in and it's a massive switch in terms of your performance. So do you think Hani will win this? Does that have interest? Yes, going by yesterday and how she came out the blocks, absolutely. But the reason I picked it as my match of the day is because I think there's probably less pressure on Rowan, and I think if she can play the high quality that she was at the end of yesterday, then it's definitely going to be a tussle. Well, Hani has certainly started very well here. Hani looks like she's been putting the work in as well over lockdown to me. You can normally see, can't you, just by the body language and the sharpness and the way they're moving and positioning themselves on the court. Yeah, she's just come back from a trip to Florida where she's been working with her coach, Will El Hindi. which is a bonus in these times, being able to spend time with your coach on court. I thought you were going to say being able to spend time in Florida. Sounds nice. Yeah, good, good drive to the back from El Arabi. Interesting, though, because I, I felt like the short ball was on, but she opted to hit out long, so... To me, just in these early stages, what it looks like is that the El Arabi tactic is to actually maybe use the threat of the short ball and then keep punching long to really try and sort of take the sting out of Hani, make her hit shots from deep in the back of the court and, and potentially counter punch from there and sort of make, it, make fatigue set in and make it quite physical. That looks like the tactics to me. Yeah, and that's not a bad tactic. You heard her in her post-match interview yesterday. She wasn't particularly pleased with how she played. Didn't feel her quality was there in, in her basic hitting to the back of the court and her shot selection. So I'm sure that she's spoken with her coach and come up with a plan of how to start this. That's if he's ever available. Every time I see him on social media, he's in the gym doing like boxing training at the moment. <laughs> Ahmed Efat. shot from Hani. Yeah, just cleverly played into the space quickly. 
good quality so far, has to be said. It has been, yeah. Both players finding their range in the back corners. It's good to see. Yeah, test, testing rallies as well. And you can, you can see that El Arabi is clearly trying to make this physical because she's trying to move the ball around in a way that is going to work, Hanny. It's not in a, I'm going to finish this rally off kind of way or I'm going to do this quickly. Yeah, definitely. And she has some brilliant shots into the front of the court, but I think this is a much sensibler option, certainly in the first part of this match, to just extend these rallies and get a bit of work in. See what the other thing is, is how many times has she already used a trickle boast? How many times has she got a winner off of it? How many? Three, I think. <laughs> So we're going for a review here. I always find these difficult here, you know, because there's always that case of could Hanny go up and round uh, so you get that circle, but then equally you're sort of saying, did, did it ever be clear? So as soon as you're getting that sort of debate going on in the mind, I guess yes, let is probably the fair decision. I know, she does all that and Out. does the review Six, and then pings seven. it straight in the tin. Seven all. Such clean hitting. Oh, oh, what a shot. What a shot. That could have been a drive Come right out. up until Eight, that very last seven. second. I yeah, mean she, that... she had the same set up in the swing. It definitely looked like a drive, and then she's just slowed her swing down at the last minute and followed through. You can only do that if you're really using the strings on the ball. Interesting. Player review, El Arabi on the no here. let decision. It's quite interesting because the ball's gone a bit deeper than El Arabi anticipated. Whether, whether it's a no let or not is another matter, but it's definitely, there's definitely something not quite right about the line that El Arabi was taking, but she was pushing up that way. Well, the referee no or let. video referee decision agreeing. Upheld. El Arabi has no reviews remaining. And out eight all. Yes, let. Yes, let. Player review, Honey, on the yes, let decision. Well, this, this situation was different, I think. My first in instinct was that yes, let is right. Yeah, here. I think it's the right decision. The ball's just 
popped up that little bit higher. Yeah, and... And the line's right that El yeah. Arabi's taken there. Yeah, she's going for a genuine line. Um, Hani has got in the way. Yes, yes let. Let is the right decision. decision. Upheld. Hani has no reviews remaining. I think Hani maybe all. felt like it was a similar situation to the other side, and reviewing it might be a good idea, but... Risky. Signature shot, isn't it? She and out. it there. Nine what, though, she's so far back on the court when she played that. Yeah, and that's all credit to El Arabi. You know, she's really finding those corners at the back of the court. If you just watch, well, so far where Salma Hani is lying stopping, it's very mid court in the service box, and that's been the difference in their hitting. No legs. El Arabi's length coming further back. Wrong line. The line was in the Good inside. On this. Yeah, she, I think she's so. gone straight for the player. Yeah. I tell you what, Andrea Santa Maria, she's been ticking ball. those front corners really well when she's been the match referee. Yeah, she's definitely man of the match so far in the referees. Two game balls. Is her birthday as well, so we need to be nice to her. You just want a bit of kick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong shot selection there. And out, 9-10, game ball. Yeah, she's read that very early, well anticipated. Well, one game ball saved for Hanny. Video referee decision on the Hanny appeal. Well, El Arabi knew she sprayed this. She was trying to get out of the way really quickly. It's going to be a stroke, I think. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a stroke. It's a shame. It's actually quite a poor serve. She's just not timed it right and Ooh. sprayed it in the middle. Oh, I'm not sure about that. I mean, I felt like she's right in her swing. Yeah, I mean, she's Nine got to be penalised for ball. that quality of return. Very lucky. Is it her birthday? Is now. Good rally, this. Great movement. Oh. oh, what a shot. That is trademark, Hanny. 10 all. A player must win by two points. Each what player a shot. has one review What a available. finish. Head speed through that ball. So stable and strong in that position when she hit it. Ooh. Out. Hand out. 11-10, game ball. So another game ball for El Arabi, her third one. Oh, can't believe she's got these. Well, this is evidence of the physical work that El Arabi's been putting in. <laughs> oh, it's <was> brilliant. <laughs> Hani was magnificent in that rally. I mean, it's just a, a barrage, wasn't it, of Hani attacks? I forgot to breathe that whole rally. Really high quality stuff. Such positive hitting in that rally from Salma Hani. Unbelievable retrievals from El Arabi. Now, the interesting thing is, is how will she back up um. after a rally? Terribly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cross-court volley into the tin. Yeah, there you go, that's the reward. Game ball for Hanny. No let. She's going to review this, isn't she? No. Well, 13, definitely 11, feeling that Hanny, brutal rally leads. there. One game to love. Ren El Arabi. So 15 minutes for that first game, really entertaining, high-quality stuff. 13-11 to Salme Hani. She's leading by one game to love. Well, it's 15 minutes of 
quite a tense affair out there. Both players have come out playing really fast, really high quality stuff. El Rabi's length, I would say just a little bit more accurate and in deep into the back corners. We saw it level out at seven all. El Rabi had three game balls, but couldn't convert any, but it just took one game ball for Salmahani to take the first game. Well, they're pretty much trading points right the way through, and um, it was El Arabi that actually had the advantage for much of that Play game well, right until that seconds. back end, and then it, it became all about Hani. And you have to say it was reward for positive squash from Hani.